comedian coming to the stage, make some noise for Ted Barton. Thank you. How's it going? <laughs> Am I coming on too strong right now? Is this it's too much? I'm doing well. Uh, I've been dating recently. That's not going great. Uh, you ever been on a date and you can tell it's not going to work out just by like the first word <laughs> that they open with? Like she, this gr one girl, she like approached the table. She's like, greetings. <laughs> uh, I was like, uh, it's going to be a long night. <laughs> I should have known because uh, we matched on Bumble and uh, dating app. You know how like lists your interest? One of her interests just said empathy. <laughs> I was like, why? <laughs> We're listing emotions now as interests? That makes no sense, you know? What do you do for fun? Joy? <laughs> I enjoy joy. So we were on a date, and uh, it felt like each conversation topic during the date just, like, made another difference between us, you know? Like, halfway through, she's like, what's your sign? I'm a Gemini. I was like, ah, oh, we're not compatible. <laughs> she's like, oh, you're a Virgo? I was like, no, you believe in astrology. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she got mad. She did. She got mad. She goes, oh, what do you believe in? I was like, God? <laughs> she started laughing. I was like, all right, I deserve that. <laughs> then she said something weird. She goes, oh, you believe in God, so you're like a conservative. And I was like, no. Why is that a thing? To believe in God has become like a narrow-minded thing. I believe in an invisible man. I think that takes the most imagination. <laughs> you know, like if a kid had an imaginary friend, you wouldn't be like, what are you, Republican? <laughs> oh, we got a little Trump supporter over here. Get him, he's an anti-vaxxer. Get him. <laughs> I'm happy I've been dating because I went through a pretty big breakup last year. Um, it was a divorce. <laughs> Don't worry, the kid's okay. Uh, by that, I mean me. <laughs> That's why I say big breakup. You know, it doesn't sound as heavy. I even called the attorney. I was like, yeah, I'd like to file a big breakup. Please. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm 26, so none of my friends relate at all, you know? They try. One of my friends is like, dude, you dodged a bullet. I was like, nah, it hit me. <laughs> I just lived to tell the tale, you know? <laughs> I don't even know if I want people to relate, you know, because my parents are divorced, so my mom relates, but it's like a little too much, you know? Because our relationship used to be so normal, but now that we're both the divorcees, <laughs> every night just feels like ladies' night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we talk, it just feels like we both have glasses of rosé with our legs on the couch. <laughs> I'm like, I'm never going to find love. She's like, shut up, you're beautiful. <laughs> Listen, you're smart, you're sexy, and any man, I mean woman, would be lucky to have you. Now wipe those tears. We're going dancing. <laughs> and I'm like, I love dancing. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was married for three months. Uh, <laughs> it was a personal best. <laughs> <laughs> we were so close to forever, you know? <laughs> Why did I tell you the truth? I should have lied. I don't know why. I should have been like, yeah, we were married for decades. We, we met in the sandbox. And then, <laughs> that's not that unrealistic. Remember kids back then would like marry each other? I feel like growing up, like you were one of two things. You thought love was icky or you had like seven wives. <laughs> I remember this one girl in my kindergarten class. She would just like go around marrying all the boys, like against their will, you know? <laughs> She's like, Timmy's my husband, and Timmy's behind her like, I know I'm four, but this feels like a red flag. 
I remember like if you saw a boy and girl sitting together, remember that song? You're like, first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes a baby in a baby carriage. How weird is that? We used to tease each other with the perfect life. <laughs> He's got a family that loves him. <laughs> and a good retirement, too. Ooh. <laughs> it's not realistic, you know? We should change that song. It should be like, first comes love, then comes doubt. <laughs> then comes baby. We'll figure it out. I went to a, another wedding last month. Um, it wasn't mine. It was a, <laughs> it's a different. Look, I hate weddings, not because the other stuff, but I, just, I hate weddings because everything's so forced. You know, you're like forced to have fun. They make you do like the cha-cha slide. That's where they like teach you to dance. You know, they're like slide to the right, slide to the left. I love that song because they teach you each move, except for that one part where they go Charlie Brown. What in God's name? <laughs> Watch everybody when they say that. People just malfunction. They're like, <laughs> I thought they were teaching us. You know, you would take a cooking class, like two cups of sugar and Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I've been Ted Barton. Enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs>